Nativity parishioners, happy mid-August. And summer is coming to a close and we're ready for a new school year. So we want to uh, welcome our teachers and students back to school and thank our teachers and parents working so closely together this year to have in-person learning and to keep our students safe. So we're praying and asking God's blessings on um, all that we are about to embark on in a new academic year. We're praying for the people of Haiti, of course, who experienced that 7.2 magnitude um, earthquake on August 14th that caused so much devastation, followed then by a storm. So the bishops of the United States have asked that each parish voluntarily take up a second collection. And here at Nativity, we're going to have a second collection on the weekend of Sunday, August 29th. And that will go to the Bishop's Emergency Disaster Fund that the Bishops of the United States will distribute to those working in Haiti. Also, you can go to our Nativity webpage to Operation Starfish and make contributions to Food for the Poor for, to support their work in the earthquake relief. We are very excited about um, the opportunity that this new year will bring to our parish. It's a new academic year. It's a new year for our religious education, too, that we'll be able to meet in person. And we're going to do so by using the best um, medical and scientific safety standards uh, with masks when we're inside the buildings and um, the social distancing. But we're really happy, and the sisters are happy, that we can have religious education in person for our students. We're still recruiting some more catechists and volunteers to help with that. So thank you for prayerfully considering passing on the faith to our children this year. And then as far as the pandemic, we know there's been an increase in um, the infection rate. And so we want to still be very prudent and careful. In fact, yesterday, Pope Francis sent out a beautiful message with the president of the bishop conferences for North and South America. And Pope Francis said, being vaccinated with the vaccine is an act of love, a love for oneself, a love for your family and friends, and a love for all people. So we do encourage everyone to prayerfully consider getting the vaccine. It is really a gift and that gives us protection and helps us to stop the spread of the virus and to end the pandemic. Um, so we continue to, here at Nativity, use those best practices in our liturgies and in our gatherings and our worship. And then lastly, as we're beginning this new year, uh, Bishop Burbage uh, published a catechesis on the dignity of the human person and gender identity. And we know that gender ideology has been uh, talked about and debated a lot in the last couple of years. And uh, the bishop wanted to present the church's teaching on this. And people want to know, what does the church have to say? And so our church teaches us of the dignity of the human person created in the image and likeness of God, male and female, uh, with great worth. Um, that's what we want to teach to our children, too. Um, gender ideology sometimes says that a person can just optionally choose whether they're going to be male or female. But our church's teaching tells us that that is set by God at our birth. We are born male and female, and that that continues throughout our lives. So the bishop wanted to uh, present the church's teaching. Of course, everybody's putting their stuff on the table, putting all of their discussions and their opinions on the table, and the church wants to do the same, to be part of the dialogue. Um, and we as a church are a city set on a hill, we're supposed to be a light to others. And so the bishop, I guess, didn't want to put a bushel basket over our light. He wants to share it. And in sharing this beautiful catechesis, he also shares that knowing that individuals struggle with integrating their sexuality and struggle at times with sexual identity, he said there should always be great pastoral compassion, sensitivity, and charity, and that never should there be any unjust discrimination. And so we want to present our church's teaching with love, but as the bishop said, also with clarity. And, you know, Catholic thought is so beautiful because it's based on, a, on both faith and reason. And Catholic thought is taught in universities throughout the world. And so um, on our parish webpage, 
Um, in our flock notes, you will be able to find this beautiful catechesis on the dignity of the human person in a response to gender ideology discussions that are taking place in our society. Lastly, just want to thank once again everybody at Nativity for your faith, your goodness, your generosity and love that, uh, that you bring into all that we do as a parish. And as we embark on a new academic year, a new year of parish life, it's all really a new year of ministry because even our school and our religious education is beautiful ministry. So we look forward to this new year and ask God's blessings upon us and the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Um, enjoy the last couple weeks of summer. Blessings on our students and teachers and parents as we embark on a new school year next week. God's blessings.